In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some smooth drop shadows in both Figma and CSS. So let's begin. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, we're going to talk about drop shadows and uh, more specifically, how to take these to the next level right so we all know the standard drop shadow that you can create from css or you know from figma xd whatever design software uh, you're using right you set the x the y the blur amount and you give it a color and you're done however you can achieve like much much better results if you were to layer multiple drop shadows together and while you can do that manually, uh, there is a tool that I want to show you in this video that uh, allows you to do that very easily. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, to start things off, I'm going to show you how like a traditional drop shadow would look like, right? So I have a, a simple shape here and I'm just going to round off the corners here a little bit and I'm going to add a drop shadow as you can see here. And the properties, we're gonna set uh, zero for X. Let's do like eight for Y and let's set a really big uh, blur, All right? Something like that, maybe a bit less here, maybe like 30, All right? Uh, so that's like your standard drop shadow. However, as I was saying, you can get a much better result if you were to layer multiple shadows. And for that, you can use a tool that's called Shadows. Yeah, you can find it at bram.af slash shadows. I actually mentioned this tool in um, some of my other videos here on the channel. But essentially what this allows you to do is stack multiple shadows together, right? So this is what six layers of shadows look like. See how smooth this is and how good it looks? This is like miles better than, than what we made here. Here, you can basically control how many layers of shadows you want. Here, we can see six layers, but here's what it looks like if we were to uh, drop those down. Here is with one layer, and this is with like six layers where we can go up to 10 layers of shadows. And you can see the CSS code uh, for that shadow right here. Uh, let's stick with actually six. Uh, here you have some additional controls. You can uh, control the transparency of these shadows. You also have some handles here that you can play around with and uh, you can see the code changing and also the shadow changing here. Uh, you can reverse the alpha so you can show the more opaque layers first and then the more transparent ones uh, you also have the option to uh, change the um, vertical distance between each shadow. And you can see that as I'm increasing this distance, you can start to clearly see the shadows being stacked here. Uh, you can also change the final blur strength, uh, reduce the spread. So you basically can use these controls on the right hand side uh, to tweak how your shadow will look like. Now, I'm just going to do a refresh and I'm going to revert it back to its uh, like default state. Uh, once you're happy with how the shadow looks like, you can simply copy this uh, CSS code and you can add it to your own project. So for example, uh, let's go to code pen and I'm just going to create a, a quick pen here to, uh, to show you and I'm just gonna set or just copy the declaration for that box shadow. And here it is. It's really that simple. And as I showed you, uh, when you play around with uh, the controls here on the right side, the CSS code changes as well. Now, if you want to replicate this in your design software, uh, that's also relatively easy to do. Uh, you can just open it up uh, and add multiple shadows like this. Uh, I'm going to show you an example in uh, Figma. So I'm just going to duplicate this uh, this card here. So under drop shadow, you can start with the first one, zero for X, 2.3 pixels. 
uh, sorry, this is for y, so 2.3. The blur value is the third here, so 1.9. Uh, and then the color is RGBA black with 0 0.018 opacity. So you would say 0 0.018. And Figma just rounds this off to two. And that's your first shadow. Then you can simply go ahead and add another one, right? And in here, you would just input the next values. And then you do the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth and you would end up with the exact same result. However, uh, there is actually a Figma plugin available for this tool, and that's actually super simple to use. Uh, I have it installed, it's called Shadows, or actually Smooth Shadow, excuse me. And by default, it uh, uses um, the same properties, the same default properties as uh, uh, the default one you saw here when you do a uh, refresh. So once you're uh, done, you just hit apply shadow and you can see it here under effects. You have the six drop shadows that can be found right here. So what you do then is you can simply copy uh, the properties on that generated element and paste them onto the other elements. Right, so let me uh, quickly give you like a preview of uh, what you get here, right? So that is the uh, single layer shadow that we created previously, and that is the smooth multi-layered one that uh, was created by the plugin. And this looks fantastic. It's a lot smoother than uh, the single layer one. Unfortunately, there is no plugin, as far as I know, for other design software like XD or um, Sketch. So if you're using that uh, piece of software, you might need to just replicate these shadows by hand. But if you're using Figma or if you're using uh, CSS, then it's really simple to create these shadows, just like I showed you with this tool. Again, it's called Shadows you can find it at this address right here, and it's totally free. All right, and that is a wrap for this quick video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. I'm Adi, and until next time, take care. Um, you'll be bleh. much, much better re uh, results if uh, results.